Hello, friends. I just heard. It's almost summer? I can't believe that. That means the school year is coming to an end. And even though this year looked a little different than most years, we still learned a ton. And your brains and your bodies grew even stronger. To me, summer means games. My roommates and I love to play card games, frisbee, and online trivia with our friends. What are your favorite games? Awesome! Now, being kind leaders and mentors isn't just for when you're at school. Kind leaders and mentors always try to act with good sportsmanship when they're playing games. Sportsmanship is being kind and considerate when playing games or sports. This means that whether you win or you lose, you still act with kindness. Let's read a story to learn more about what that looks like. Howard B. Wigglebottom learns about sportsmanship. Winning isn't everything. By Howard Binkow and Susan F. Cornelison. <laughs> Howard B. Wigglebottom didn't like to lose. He just had to be the best at everything. At the fair, Howard won the seed spitting contest. He won the sledgehammer and pie eating contests. He won the skateboard, pogo stick, and dunk the clown contests. As long as Howard came in first, he was happy. But no one can come in first every time in everything. Once, when Howard came in second, he threw a temper tantrum and kicked his second place trophy. Howard even cheated friends to win. When his soccer team made it to the finals, he told himself that coming in second is not okay. Winning meant everything. He was going to see to it that his team won. When the big day arrived, Howard yelled at his teammates if they made mistakes. He was a ball hog and wouldn't share. Howard tripped a player on the other team just as he was about to score a goal. Then he talked back to his coach. Time out, Howard. Howard called the other team's players bad names. He was taken out of the game. Howard, this is not okay, said the coach. You need to learn about sportsmanship and being a team player. You are making poor choices and don't deserve to play. Howard was the captain of the team and best player. Coach, the team needs me to win. Please put me back in, he begged. The coach shook his head no and said, sometimes there are more important things than winning. Not for Howard. They'll lose without me and the coach will be sorry, he thought. Howard watched his teammates cheer each other on. They treated the coaches, referees, and each other with respect. Good try. Good job. That's okay. Way to go for it. An upset dad was yelling at the referee. Howard watched as the man was asked to leave. Do I look like that, he thought to himself. In a flash, he understood how badly he had been behaving. He felt so embarrassed and ashamed. Please, coach, I don't want to be like that, dad, said Howard. Please put me back in. I don't want to let the team down. The coach nodded yes, and Howard ran to join his teammates. The score was tied with one minute to go. The crowd was cheering. Howard had the ball and a chance to score the winning goal, and he stopped. Instead, he passed to a teammate who took the shot and missed. Then the other team got the ball and scored the winning goal. Howard's team lost.
After the game, Howard proudly accepted his team's second place trophy. He smiled and shook hands with the captain of the winning team. Good job, he said with a wink. We'll get you next time. Howard, you can be very proud of yourself today, said his coach. You learned about sportsmanship and you were a good team player. Howard was very happy. This second place trophy meant more to him than all his other winning trophies put together. The end. See how everyone has more fun when we all play games with good sportsmanship? So, remember, treat everyone with respect on your team and the other team. And always play fair and don't cheat to win. As long as you do your best and have fun, that's all that matters. Goodbye for now.